loves and welcome back to my channel um in today's video we are going to learn how to make a draped skirt with a side slit an overlap draped skirt so we are going to do the pattern drafting first because this is not the type of style you can sew without a pattern so first of all this is our pattern paper i have my waistline my hip line my knee line and the full length so i'll measure my waist divided by four this is the front part then my hip divided by four and two inches my knee also so you add your allowance to this pattern it will be easier for you so after that i will connect and the shape of the skirt we are making is um, an a shape so the full length of the pattern paper is what i'm going to use as my full length i don't want to join the pattern paper so i will make my a shape and remember if you are cutting this it should be on fold so i'll label my line my waistline my hip line my knee line and my full length so remember this front piece is going to be on fold and we are going to cut two of it you cut two of it and then one back piece you know after cutting the front you cut the back so what i'm trying to say is that this front part will be two you cut two pattern papers they will be equal the length the wideness everything will be equal so after cutting out this one you can see how it looks i've opened it and i extended my line I'll go ahead and cut another one that looks like this exactly. So I'll place it on another pattern paper and I will cut out. Because this skirt is layered. The front part of this skirt is layered. So I'll indicate the hip line and the knee line so that I'll not get confused. And after that, I will extend the lines, the, my hip line and my knee line so that everything will align so i also go ahead and label this pattern paper so that we will not be confused the full length the knee length the hip length and the waistline so right now you are going to choose where you want the slits of your dress to be if you want it to be on the right fine if you want it to be on the left fine so this one now is the one that is going to be inside it is layered so from my waist i will come down by seven inches on one side i want my slit to be on the right so from the waist i'll come down by seven inches on one side you can see where i marked my seven inches then from there i will make a curve this curve will cross it will cross the center line of this skirt like the midline the center line you know if you are cutting on food that center line this curve will cross it you can see how i curved it so you can see one side of this skirt is bigger than the other side so i'll go ahead and cut off the remaining side from the waist you come down by seven inches and then you cut off so you can see how this one is looking it is smaller right now and this one will be on the inside for um, for, um don't mind that i place it on the on the other one it should be to be the one on the inside so the second one that i want to cut now is the one that i am going to drip so this is how i'm going to cut this one from the waistline you will come down to your hip line i want this curve to start at the hip line remember the other one started at seven inches but i want this one to start at the hip line so you place this pattern paper on it again and then determine the distance between the two slits if you want the slit to be closed fine if you want it to be wider fine some are wider some are closed so i want my slit to start from the midline and then i will curve i will extend a curve to the hip line you can see how i am making the curve i will join that curve to the hip line so after doing this two of them will overlap each other one will be wide one will be wider than the other so i'll go ahead and cut out the remaining parts of this skirt so i have cut it out this one will be the one on the top it will be at the top this is the one that i will drape so after doing that 
you can see how they look sorry this small one will be on the inside but you can see the shape of my slit if you check the slit is always curved it is not a straight slit so i curved it and you can see that one side of this skirt is bigger than the other side so you are free to determine where you want your slits to be so that will guide you so that you will know where to curve from so i'll go ahead and label this paper i will label the right and the left so that i will not get confused this is the right and it will be under the other one so after that i will remove the smaller part i will not slash it so this is the one that i will drape like i said so right now i am going i'm going to draw um straight lines from that area where i curved from to the other down to the other side so i will mark like four or five lines you can make your six so that you can spread very well so i'll go ahead and draw um straight lines and these straight lines will be like two two inches apart from each other so i have like four here so right now i am i will go i'm going to start slashing you know how we normally slash our pattern paper so i'll be slashing gradually it will reach the end part of the other side of the skirt you can see i'll go ahead and slash as i am slashing i will be spreading so to avoid making a mistake before you slash use this pattern paper to cut out your lining if you want the skirt to have a lining so this is how we are going to spread it when cutting on our main fabric but before i do that i want to cut my lining because i want this to have a lining this is for people that want their own skirt to have a lining so i'll close it and then i'll use it to cut my lining first i'm not going to slash and spread my lining my lining is going to be a guide so this is my lining I'll place the pattern paper on it and I will close it. Like I said, the lining will not have the, the drape or the guard that the other one has. So you can see how I closed it. I will go ahead and cut out my lining first because this lining will serve as a guide. I will pleat the main fabric on the lining. Like I will drape the main fabric on the lining because now the lining has the accurate measurements we want so it is going to serve as a guide while draping so i'll go ahead and cut out my lining first and after cutting for the left side i'll also cut the lining for the right side if you are using a velvet the lining is not necessary you can actually use a bias or something to sewn so I will, this is how my lining looks. So I'll go ahead and cut out the lining for the other side, for the right side. That is the smaller side. I will go ahead and cut out my lining for it. So after cutting the lining, I will cut my main fabric. So I want to use this fabric. This is a door face satin. But if you have a duchess or a velvet, it will be better so i'll place my pattern paper this is the main fabric right now so we are going to spread on the main fabric so you can see how this looks if you want your guard that to be fuller you go ahead and spread it very very well you can even slash more so that your guard will be fuller so um right oh now I will, I will connect with my chalk so after connecting with the chalk i'll cut out oh and when you are cutting out this should be no, on the front side this will be on the right side of the fabric so that you will not make any mistake if you are placing your pattern paper please cut on the right side of the fabric so that after cutting the two pa pattern papers they will not be facing one side so i'll go ahead and cut So this is the main fabric and I am done cutting. So if you gather it, if you drape it, this is what it will look like. So you can see it is giving us the shape already. So right now I'll go ahead and cut out the smaller parts. 
so this is the other side this is the right side i'll also cut it out so this side i'm not going to slash or spread it i'll just cut it exactly the way it is on the pattern paper So I am done cutting right now I'll go ahead and turn it with the lining that is if you want to turn with the lining but if you want to leave it it's fine it depends on the type of skirt you are making so if you want to make a mammoth skirt like a, an A-line skirt that flows very well you can extend the length very very well so my major focus is just this draped area so for the bigger area for the draped area you can see that I have placed my lining down and then this lining will serve as a guide for me i will start splitting this side that i spreaded so i'll go ahead and pleat you can make the pleats to face up or down depending on where you want your own to be so i'll go ahead and pleat as i'm pleating I will be pinning them down so when you are pinning you should not pin it together with the lining the lining is just serving as a guide i don't know if you understand so i'll go ahead and make my place So this is the last one so if you want this to be fuller that means you will spread more you will slash more and you will spread more so right now i'll go ahead and hold down that area with a stitch so that i will not lose the shape that i have gotten already i'll go ahead and hold it down with a stitch then i am done right now i'll place the lining on it and i will turn i will turn the slit area and the the down part and also the side so i'll go ahead and turn so i am done turning and i will notch the curved area that is the slit area you will notch them very well so that you can iron if you don't notch it the curve will not relax very well so notch before you iron so after notching i will go ahead and iron please iron properly if you want to top stitch on the slit area, you can do that as well. So if you are ironing, do not iron the pleats. Do not make it, do not make them to be flat. Just iron the hip area. Do not iron those drapes there so that they will not go flat. They will not really look nice. So I'll iron the other side as well. so right now this is the smaller side and i'll go ahead and place the draped side on it because that's the side that's going to be on the outside so i have placed it here then you go ahead and hold them together at the waist and at the hip area just hold them down with your pins and then you can place the back part on it and then take your body measurement so guys we have an online class going on we have um, a trouser master class and a blazer master class and it is going to be well detailed so i'll leave the link to the to our telegram group and our whatsapp group so that you can click on them click on them to join the price is just two thousand naira. it is very very affordable and trust me the class is going to be well detailed please do not miss out you can see the final look of our skirt it is looking so beautiful and neat so take your time practice if you make mistakes feel free to correct them feel free to start afresh and please make use of your pattern paper because it will help you to avoid some 
mistakes so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video i have missed you guys so much see you in my next video please do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload you will be notified so thank you guys so much see you in my next video bye